evening, you fucks. This is the Metal Hammer of Doom, and I am your host, the Mandator Reporter, and frankly, I'm mortified, Mr. Mark Radlich. And on tonight's agenda is Overkill, the Wings of War. Welcome to New Jersey, you fucks. Uh, we're going to probably run that into the ground tonight if we haven't already. Uh, and coming at you live... From Shrewsbury, New Jersey, it's Jesse Starcher. How do you do, sir? I would rather be from Asbury Park. Is that possible? No, the only Bam Bam Bigelow lives in Asbury no, Park. No, me and him hung out <laughs> at Asbury Park. That's specifically why I picked it. Did you push it? Did, did he push you on the swings? <laughs> we had a good old time back in the day. <laughs> uh, uh, man, greetings from man. Asbury Park, you fuck. Yes, sir. My goodness. Uh, boy, overkill, huh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? somebody left yeah? their cat somebody left their cat their cat out in the rain. I wanted to listen to our older episode, our our last episode where we covered overkill and the, the unfortunately wheel. Yes. Yes, and boy did it. Was it a grinding wheel? It was quite <laughs> quite the grind to get through that if I remember correctly. Uh, but I Un- that's one of the ones on the old archive from uh, Blog Talk, so it wasn't I didn't have ease of access to it. However, it is out there, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to hear us talk about that, you can go find it. Uh, I think Coop was on there with us, I believe. Uh, the trio was still around back then. And then now we've got this one. What, what are we talking about tonight? Uh, the Wings of War is the 19th studio album by American thrash metal band Overkill otherwise known as The Other Big Four. It was released February 22nd, 2019. We're finally catching up to it here in April. It's the band's first album to feature drummer Jason Bittner, and boy, does he drum on this. He's a making, drummer. Making it, yes, and he drums quite well. Making it the band's first one without Ron Lipnicki since Rally 14 in 2005, as he left Overkill shortly after the release of its predecessor, the Grinding Wheel, where someone left their cat out in the rain. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's get into it. Uh, if you want to hear our thoughts on the band at large, you can go ahead and check out uh, our review of The Grinding Wheel. As uh, Jesse said, just uh, you know, overkill, rattleage, schmageggy, you'll find it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, I listened to this album a bunch today. I've listened to it uh, a few times before that. I listened to it with my son in the car. I said to him, Jonas, what would you think of Overkill? And he was like, I'd rather listen to Kids Place Live. And I'm like, you don't know nothing. Then I punched him in the face. Um, <laughs> you punched him in the face and what would you yell? <laughs> Welcome to Jersey, you, <laughs> you fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beating up five-year-olds. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, um, so we just had his birthday party. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. I got saw pictures. And I rented a uh, a bounce house and a water slide. Nice. You know, like you do. Mm-hmm. And uh, so my cousin, she's uh, she's divorced her husband, and she's shacking up with this other dude. And they have a roommate, and the roommate has an eleven year old boy who got suspended from school. He isn't allowed to play video games. Is getting into fights in school. So they thought it would oh. be a good idea to bring him to the five year old birthday party with a lot of other little kids. Oh no. Oh, no. And apparently what he was doing was he was waiting at the bottom of the water slide and putting himself in harm's way so that the kids would come down the slide, hit him, and then he would then have carte blanche to hit them back. Well, what he went a shithead. A- well, he went after Jonas on oh, his boy. birthday, as a matter of fact. Oh, exactly boy. the day after his birthday. But it was on his birthday party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my son, my, my, my son Jonas don't take no mess. Oh, good, good. <laughs> so this kid, according to my wife, and correct me if I'm wrong, Melissa, this kid hit Jonas, and Jonas was like, what the fuck, and punched him dead in the face. <laughs> 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 so then he uh, he turned around and punched Jonas in the sternum, and before Jonas went to give him the RKO, my wife jumped in and <laughs> pulled him out of the pond. Yeah, yeah. She was, she was, she was like uh, God kicking everybody out of the Garden of Eden. She's like, all right, everybody out of the pool, quit biting apples. Someone put the other, you know, the offend, the offending kid in a chokehold, right? Yeah, my, dude, my wife, fucking, I, I haven't seen her that angry since the last time I pissed her off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do not blame her. Damn. Uh, but no, the point of this story was, man, yeah, Jonas, don't take no mess. 
Good. Proud, I was proud of him, man. He fucking like if he's a five year old, like just newly minted five year old, and he stuck up for himself and punched an eleven year old. Good. What a dick. Yeah. All right. Man. Enough of uh, Mark's great parenting stories. <laughs> <laughs> America, god damn it. Um, Punch a kid. That's right. All right, here we fucking go. Uh, I forgot how to do this podcast. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> so um, just a little bit more about this. There were three singles that were released. We're going to hear the, uh, the first one in just a few minutes. Last Man Standing was released December 14th. Head of a Pin was released January 18th. And Welcome to the Garden State, which is <laughs> what we've been completely stuck on. <laughs> we did a Metal Hammer of Doom Extra on this, and it has informed everything else that we know about this album. It's why we started adding "ya fuck" at the end of every sentence. Uh, <laughs> you're, beautiful. You, you're welcome. All right, so this is the first <laughs> single from the album. It's the first track off the album. This, my friends, is Overkill. Last man standing. How do you not like this album, you asshole? This is the greatest. Uh, that's this, one song. Mark. This is one the song. greatest album ever in the. Hi- All right, listen to me. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you, yeah, you, sure. you listen to Uncle Mock now. Um, this is the thrashiest of thrashy albums I've heard in quite a long time. The drumming on this, the thundering double bass drumming on this, is what sells the whole thing. I'm not. I've never been crazy about. Uh, Bobby Blitz Ellsworth's lead vocals. I, you know, same little, here. It's a little too high pitched for me, but I, as I've gotten older and and more tired, <laughs> <laughs> less, wore, less inclined to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> they wore me down, is what happened. Um, <laughs> now, like I've gotten used to it. You know, it's just kind of accepted that that's part of Overkill. Um, you know, not everybody can sound like Phil Ensemble banging on pots and pans, so. No. Oh, no, no. Well, you need to strive for that, ladies and gentlemen. All you, <laughs> all you are metal bands out there, strive for it. Reach for the stars, or reach for the pots <laughs> and pans. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I've gotten used to his voice. But I mean, like, look, I love traditional classic thrash metal, and the more double bass drum, the more high tempo, 
you are, the better, the more I'm going to like it. I mean, this is the first album we've heard this year, I think, and I'll, and we'll go back through the list if we need to, but, you know, to see if I'm right about that. But maybe other than Soil Work, this is the first album we've heard that's got balls all the way through. Okay. All right. I will give you the fact that it is nonstop. So you'll see that, ladies and gentlemen, as we go through this album. They don't let off the gas. I think there's one song that kind of throws you for a second. Like, it may seem like they slowed things down, but then, of course, it's it's the heavy metal swerve, bro. It's uh, it, No, it's right back in your face. So, yeah, foot is down, pedal to the metal. Uh, and we're starting off with what I thought was actually a pretty decent song. So uh, it's, it, it's something that, to me... I don't know a whole lot about Overkill, so you know all I'm doing is comparing to the previous album that we had the chance to cover, and I think we're starting off on the good foot, the good foot, Mark Radlich, not the bad one. The I feel one. like these are shorter songs than the ones on the grinding wheel. Like, I don't eight. know about that. There's no fucking way. I feel like, I mean, hang on, let let's let's take a look at it real quick because yeah. I feel like there were like some like eight minute songs on the grinding wheel. Oh, oh my gosh, if there were, uh, it's been that long since I blocked it out of my memory um <laughs> First, okay it's a longer album i'll tell you that much um yeah mean green killing machine was almost eight minutes long goddamn oh, wow. trouble was six minutes 20 seconds um the grinding wheel was almost eight minutes long uh let's see here 729 621 549 603 645 455 459 505 451 755 okay Boom. Fucking yeah. boom. Yeah, they definitely had some... And it's it's not common for a thrash band to put out songs that long. Right. You know? Unless it's, you're Metallica. Uh, well, and... Or you're Megadeth. They're, they're not as... Yeah. Megadeth can <laughs> maybe... I don't know. There's, there's a few in their catalog that I can think of that really reach that seven to eight minute... And it's winding and Master of Puppets is twelve minutes long. Okay, well that was nineteen what nineteen eighty whatever you fuck. So <laughs> <laughs> you know things we were just coming into. They were just uh, you know just entering uh, the heavy metal. All right, well, here's, uh, here's what, here you research McGee. Sure. Okay, I want you to find like a list like top twenty of the, like, the longest thrash metal songs. Okay. All right. And while you do that. You think you can handle that? I can do it. I'm looking at it right now. All right. Well, I believe in you, and I believe in the fight. a little off on that one. All right, what'd you find? Okay, so you know, for some reason I'm thinking we had this Metallica uh, long song discussion before. I swear we have on the show. But uh, I went to I found a few websites. We'll start with Yahoo Answers because somebody asked that very same question. They said, are there any long thrash songs? And added to that he said, the f- longest I could think of was Welcome to Dying by Onslaught at 12 minutes and 40 seconds. All right? Don't know that song. I've heard of the band, but I don't know that song. What was the band Another, again? Yeah. Uh, Onslaught, Welcome to Dying was the name of the song. All right, got it. Then we have the uh, Somber Lane by Dissection. It's seven minutes and a few seconds. That's another guy's answer. Somebody else said Sab- Sabat's Dreamweaver. Um, then here's a band we all know and love, Against by Sepultura. 
13 and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, somebody chimed in with most of Metallica's songs are like six to seven minutes. Oh, it says Mark Radlich down there. Um, and then, uh, okay, just kidding. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait, what? Hark, <laughs> uh, I've been okay. hacked. Well, holy shit. Okay, so uh, somebody asked this May 3rd, 2017. Uh, it's time for, okay, so somebody asked, what are your favorite thrash metal songs with a length of up to six minutes or longer? One guy says, well, as others go for just one band, it's time for some overkill. Uh, so, yeah, he proceeds to list off a bunch of fucking overkill songs. So they apparently are known for that. Uh, and then a guy posts a shit ton. Anthem uh, to the Estranged, 89, Metal Church. Doomsday for the Deceiver, 86, Flotsam and Jetsam. Um, yeah, there, here's an Annihilator song called Crystal Ann slash Alice in Hell, 80, from 89. Heathen song from Heathen ninety one. So there you go. I mean, there's there's some in there, but again, I don't know, man. I'm I don't feel uh, obviously if one guy is touting overkill. Why are you being so negative tonight? You're very. I'm not ne- being negative. You're negative, I, I, Nelly. The song we just listened to is actually one of my favorite ones off of here. I I, I didn't mind that one. The problem is, as we could, here's what's really set me off you saying this is your favorite album of the year and me going pshaw <laughs> <laughs> because it is it's when we get it when this is all said and done can we, we get to the rank all right no 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 i'm gonna settle this the fuck right now right now right the fuck now okay you fuck you fuck <laughs> we ain't even got to jersey son <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on the road though <laughs> going through uh. pa all right, let me let me tell you one time. All right, all right. we started proper, right, with Soil Work. That's a great album. Less good than Soil Work, Papa Roach. Less good than Soil Work, A Pale Horse Named Death. Um, that takes us to February. We did nothing on the sixth for some odd reason. I don't remember why. I wasn't in the hospital. Why? <laughs> 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 Mark's reasons for not doing podcasts. Hospital? No. What the hell else was it? What did? What the hell did? Oh, you know what? It was that uh, lame ass. Um, oh, the the emo pop fucking band. Yeah, we just we, canceled. That's right. We were we, just like, fuck that. We can't. Yeah, do it. yeah. Fuck this noise. Um, Beast in Black. Okay, that's up there. That's a good one. That's as good, if not better, than Soil Work. Uh, Avantasia, not as good. Mm. Dream Theater, not as good. Mm. Um, are you saying not as good compared to over, Overkill? Not this as album? good compared. Not as good compared to Soil Work. Soil Works. Virgin Aiden. Queen. Uh Queen's Reich. Not as good. Uh, we didn't do anything on the thirteenth because I think that was that was a night where I don't know. I don't. Oh, I know. <laughs> that was the night I that I. Podcast. Yeah, we just we just didn't do anything. Uh, we can't we we canceled that night. I was I was away on the twentieth. We did a R- Motley Crue retrospective on the twenty seventh. Oh, I remember what the thirteenth was. The thirteenth was us trying to do an episode and something fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that was supposed to be to in, right. That was supposed to be in flames. That's what that was. There we go, and it went in, down in flames. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, Children of Bodom was good, but not not. Eh, I'm not, sorry, that's it. It's up there for me. Um, I think we agree Children of Bodom was good, but I don't think it was as good as Beast in Black or Soil Work. Mm, I've got it at the top. Then we did, I'm an ace man! (laughs) Number one with a bullet. (laughs) I'm an ass man! (laughs) Bum, bum. Oh, Uh, I like to fuck him. I like... (laughs) (laughs) I like to brand... I like to brand him. I like to spank him. (laughs) And I'm going to like eat to him. I like Because <laughs> I'm an ass man. Billy, get down from there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, anyway, so what does Overkill really have to compete with? I mean, in earnest, Children of Bodom, Soil Work, and Beast in Black. Okay. I'll, I will agree with that. And it, for an album to get up there, it has to be something that I will – gladly go back and play again um and i'm just I have not listened feeling to this, on this i have listened to this album 800 times today shit 
<laughs> you listen to this album probably three or four times, and I, and this is your kind of music. I have no doubt in my mind. This is good heavy thrash. Yes, uh, this so is music for people with ADHD. This is. I don't blame you there. Uh, some of the stuff, though, go, there's go. enough for me to pick on this album to make me go, okay, well, eh, I, I don't know. Here's what I want you to do. Did, okay. has, did Caleb finish Stick his homework tonight? Stick your dick tonight? in the door. <laughs> <laughs> go grab Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's in bed, sir. I, I don't want to get that train started. He's, and he's go, already not going to sleep. Tell him to go get his homework. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sit him, sit him down at the table. <laughs> No. And play some overkill. No. And no. see if he concentrates on his homework. He cannot. There's be- no way. He can't, I, he can't do that if somebody's listening to music in another room, sir. I in guarantee room. you if you play this kind of thrash music, suddenly he'll start focusing on his work. <laughs> oh, really? So this is <laughs> concentration music? Yes. Okay. For kids with ADHD, absolutely. Okay. All I've right. already finished my work for tomorrow. Have you really? During the podcast, <laughs> just in a few minutes of Cliff were while, playing. While I was driving, yes. Oh, um. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Uh, Believe in the fight, though. Hey, I liked it. I thought that was an okay song off of here. So I, I still think that they've got me hooked when I was first listening to this. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. You mentioned his vocals. It's You've gotten past it. Me, I haven't. Mm-hmm. I haven't gotten past. That might be the problem here. Like maybe like another ten I, years when it wears you down, you'll start to realize the greatness that is Overkill and overlook the sadness that is his voice. <laughs> you, I don't know if he'll be around. These guys have been around for a while. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking Metal Church is still around and still one That's of our true. most popular podcasts for some fucking strange How reason. The fuck? How I the don't fuck? understand. All right, I do understand that this next song, however. Is called Head of a Pin. It's yet another one of their singles from the Wings of War. Here we go. Oh, dig that crazy swing, baby. Woo! <laughs> Ow! As soon as he starts singing, hey, Mr. Pilot, I start to think of the ultimate warrior. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I don't know why. It makes absolutely no sense in regards to the song. <laughs> but I think of him. Speaking of ADHD, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the old, he grabs the pilot <laughs> <laughs> Sends the plane into a nosedive. Uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hulk. H O K E. Hulk. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Oh, wow. Um, so, right that's here. I, dude. <laughs> that's just a way to fucking rattle it. Your broadcasting network brain works sometimes. 
Um, I wasn't a fan of this you, one. You say fish, we say sneakers. That's right, damn it. That's right. Um, yeah, wasn't a fan of this song for some reason. I just no, I couldn't. I couldn't get behind it. I do no. you not like music with a little bit of swing to it? You you, you no. ain't got no soul, brother. I got plenty of soul, sir. Plenty of soul. You I got, just you got white man souls. What you got, which is no soul. <laughs> Are we getting close to Jersey yet? <laughs> I'm going to throw your ass out of the car. <laughs> I don't know, man. That song has some swing to it, and I can't... It's that you're not feeling it. It's like, ah, Jesus. I don't know why this doesn't speak to you. It's not It's it's not one that sticks out. There's There was, are a few that stick I, out in this, on this album. That definitely isn't one of them for me. I was digging it, man. I really was. Like, okay. like, I'm, not, like I'm not doing a bit here. Like, I... That was the first thing. Excuse me. That was, McDonald's. Um, <laughs> this bit of unprofe- this bit of unprofessionalism was brought to you by McDonald's, <laughs> and that McDonald's was brought to you by my parents. <laughs> my parents, nice. making sure my family doesn't fall into abject poverty for over ten years. Um, <laughs> Good to you. Anyway, um, yeah, I. Uh, I, it was the first thing that jumped out at me was the the swing in the song, you know, and that it actually, you know, to prevent things from getting a little too samey, it lays off the constant double bass drum, okay. which, you know. So like the song construction is a little bit different from the rest of the album, but I think yes. it's. But I thought it was I thought it was fun, you know, like, uh, you know, talking about the pilot, you know, the, the flying of the airplane and everything. It was it was a little different, you know. It uh, mm-hmm. stood out to me. Okay, all right. I'll respect that, and I'll I'll definitely give you the fact that it does change things up. So, there's that. Change is good, except for when it isn't. Um, all right. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> all all you little black children, you sing in the corner in the color. This next section. song though has to have like the greatest title of a song that we've seen in at least a good while. This next one coming up. <laughs> this next song is a song that begins with a vowel and starts with the letter E. That's a Faith No More bit. All right. Uh, but seriously, folks. Yeah, Jesse, when we come back, yeah. I want to hear from Angry Metal Guy and some of our uh, some of the other... Ooh, yeah. I want to hear some of your research. Okay? I've got it. All right. So here we go. Apparently Jesse's favorite song off of here. This is Batshit Crazy. One word. Oh, I do like a good breakdown. <laughs> oh, I everybody, no, going batshit crazy. I need to look up lyrics. How because... do you not punch somebody in the face during that song? Oh, my gosh. So, I was trying to figure out, again, not a big fan of his vocals, because sometimes I can't tell what the hell he's saying. At one point, it just sounds like he's just mumbling loudly. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is he no, saying that's, there?" No, that's that's the guy doing Schwarzenegger from uh, Austrian Death Machine. <laughs> uh, it's very good, by the way. That that I was convinced that's what it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I so, blabbed about Mars. Wow, two weeks. <laughs> so the the there's there's a part where he says those lips. Say we're lazy, and at first I kept thinking he was saying those libs, like fucking liberals. I was like, "Whoa, wait a second, things have taken a turn here." Oh, that's funny. He's mad. About, he's so mad about his cat being left out in the rain. Fucking libs. 
saying we're lazy. Everybody going batshit crazy. Mm. Uh, someone hit the big red button and the shit went viral. All right. So, okay. I have no idea what this song's about other than just people going insane. Uh, Angry Metal Guy, uh, our good buddy over here, did a, did a review on the album. He is, man, he, he is a soldier at this. He, he does these over and over and over, nonstop checking out some of the greater metal bands out there and doing some of the some of them i've never heard before so anyway overkill definitely he touched on that here's what he has to say I'll just read a couple sentences from his review but just how essential is the latest back alley sucker punch considering the band's ginormous catalog and 30 plus years in the filthy tra- thrash excuse me <laughs> things took a turn there <laughs> 30 30 plus years in the filthy thrash business well, it's a mixed bag of hobo wine and brass knuckles. <laughs> uh, he says, cuts like scorching opener, last man standing, show overkill in all their energetic brash glory, hopped up on rot gut and testosterone. Um, that's not to say that fun nuggets of amped up aggro like head of pen and the hysterical welcome to the garden state, that's right, you fucks, aren't worth the price of admission. Uh, so it seems like there is it's pretty positive let's take a look what his overall grade is he's not an overkill fan he says here oh wait a second no my bad I'm an overkill fan for life I misread that uh, but he gave the album a two and a half out of five so well yeah. what's his problem in life uh, well now did I take a look to see specifically what his issue was no let's see the last paragraph probably sums it all up. I'm an overkill fan for life, and I'll always find things to enjoy on anything they put out. The Wings of War just misses being another good album, and there are good and very good cuts scattered about the landfill. For a band this late into their career, they still sound edgier and angrier than most acts half their age. I'll give them that for sure. And they still sound like overkill. That's why I stick around. Your mileage may vary. So, there you go. I think you have to be in the mood for this sound is the issue. Okay. I think if you're not, like, overly into this particular sound, then your opinion of the record is going to change. If you're like me, and you're like, yes, finally, someone remembered how to use a double bass drum. Someone knew how to, you know, (laughs) someone remembered how to play at speed. You know, it's like, okay, I think... And that's that's maybe where I'm at with this, is just... So much of the music that we're listening to is not this that I get excited when this happens, and I probably overdo it. Well, we only get to cover so many bands yeah. on the show. I mean, so when something like that stands out and you really enjoy it, it's yeah. Considering some of the stinkers we actually did not do at <laughs> one point. I mean, we were going to, but we didn't do them because that you know that one album sucks so bad. So right, something yeah. like this is a refreshing drink of water. Yeah, bring me the horizon. Oof. There we go. Wolf. Yes, All right. Sir. Although their videos rock, so I'll yes, give them that. their video is fantastic. All <laughs> right. This next one is called Distortion.
Oh my god. Oh my god. One, two, oh my god. <laughs> we have, uh, we have, by the way, we have, uh, breaking news, Jesse. Oh, goodness. Hang on. <laughs> I haven't heard the horse in a while. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my. Oh, what, what are we beating tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so. New Mutants, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I just saw on Facebook. I, uh... Direct a video. Not direct a video, but it's no, it's being pushed back from its August date to an undisclosed date. And the rumor is that it's probably just going to end up on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I think I, you've been... Either you've been saying that or some other people have been saying that well. As well, fucking... It's hard to keep up with all the negativity of the people that are on the Rattle and Broadcasting Network. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> rumor has Where's it that there, 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 there might be a movie. Oh, fuck the movies! No one's gonna go see the movies anymore. You know that's how that goes. Um, but yeah, it, it, the new Mutants was supposed to come out August second. Now it's being delayed again. Oh wow! Well, uh, now are yeah. There's check your email. Okay. <laughs> why things why are being they... deleted? Why would they do that? Uh, did they say specifically? Is there any particular reason? Um, I'd, have going... go, I'd have to hang on. Give me a second here. I'm changing New Mutants to Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and, Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw. So, well, we're gonna have to figure out some. Is there a source material already scheduled for that? Was that Demon Bear? Yes, but that's okay. gone now. Now it's. Booster Gold, Blue and Gold. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's a good buddy book right there. That sounds like a good time. Oh, speaking of which, um, I might have to bail out on one of the May uh, shows. Uh, my wife got um, my wife got uh, nominated for an award. Oh, awesome, Melissa! Your thing is May thirteenth, right? Yeah. So uh, that's when we would be recording Fear itself. Okay. Um, I might not be able to. I, I, I'm not going to be able to record that Monday. So either we have to record it a different day or. Uh, ah, you go do your thing. I'll take care of business. I think I got a couple people lined up for that I, show. But tonight. I just bought the book is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy reading it, sir. And I hope you enjoy our coverage. <laughs> I might switch it now just to fuck with y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> um, like I I might put something else in its place just, just because, God damn it, I bought Fear itself. <laughs> damn um, it all. Maybe, maybe you record me and then you just kind of edit me into the podcast. I could do that. I'm not scared. I've thought about doing that with other things. <laughs> so, I, so I don't interact with your other friends that aren't quite so you fucky? <laughs> um. It's like, ooh, who's this guy? He, don't worry, he's not actually going to be on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's, what do we got going on in June? See, I'm all distracted now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the <laughs> schedule cast. All right. Um, fuck this shit. Back to reality. You can get back to reality. All right. So that last one, man, was pretty cool. That was another one that was a little off the beaten path for Overkill. Not quite as thrashy, but had a nice rock and roll beat to it. I was uh, bobbing my head until I found out about the new mutants, and then I was crying. Um, <laughs> when I met you, I was crying not to let you. Um... That's uh, Aerosmith. <laughs> Wrong yeah. band. Yeah, it is. What did you think of yeah. Distortion? Uh, it was okay. <laughs> Not one of my favorites off of here. Uh, I was looking at the lyrics. The lyrics... This this was the song I was talking about earlier where they kind of fool you going into it, and then it, be, it clearly picks up and becomes a pretty hard rocking tune. Why don't you um, like about it, faggot? I'm just... Not my thing, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> not my thing, dude. Welcome, so, welcome to Mark bullies people for not liking his music. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry, sir. It's, again, I, I don't know. It's a personal, say, a personal thing with me. I, I wish I had the capability of looking at... Uh, it's tough to separate. Okay, I don't like this guy. I don't like this song because of its vocals. Um, and I noticed on quite a few of these songs that, you know, the way that it starts out, this this band is heavy as shit. But uh, Blitz is clearly the linchpin of this band. And his vocals take center stage every time he sings. I don't like it. That's a personal thing, though. Uh, but I could tell you, everything else kicks ass. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be different if I could handle the vocals and there was a different person singing it. I, I have no idea to actually come up with something intelligent to say, other than, and, and that's not personal, in my opinion. So, But Distortion, when I'm looking at all the songs on this album, this one, Unfortunately, it's down there for me. I don't even know if it crocs. It, it croc, it crocs. It crocs the top ten. <laughs> did, you, did you stick your head in the crocs mouth because you want to know what it had for dinner? <laughs> what did it have for dinner? I'm curious. Did they ever find out what the hell it had for dinner? No, he fucking bit the elephant. Ah, uh, well. But, but apparently this is how elephants got their long trunks, is what happened. Like, they used to have tightly tucked trunks, and then, okay. the allig- and then this crocodile or alligator or whatever the fuck it was bit the, bit the curious elephant in the trunk... And it stretched out the trunk, and then the elephant saw it. You know, oh, there's great utility with a long trunk. This was high, this was this, this this children's play was a metaphor for huge dicks. That's what it was. <laughs> it's not how science works. <laughs> Should have just. You know, it's funny. That's hilarious. My dad said the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "That's not how evolution works." <laughs> I'm like, "He's not wrong, sir. He's not wrong." Children's play clearly doing an African fable of some sort. All right then. <laughs> All right now. Burn out. All right now. Hey, don't forget. I got when we plug the next album that I've got to make a Viking experience joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The Viking experience <laughs> sounds like something you would do after you met Elsa and Anna at Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> got your tickets? Uh, All right. Hashtag give Elsa a girlfriend. All right. Um, hashtag give Elsa a girlfriend and give Cap a boyfriend. I didn't know about the give Cap a boyfriend one. I I don't get on Twitter for these reasons. Probably. <laughs> you do get on Twitter. I've seen you. I've been there. Pouring out your podcast. Yes, that's about all I do. Yeah. Well, you should uh, you should check into this hashtag give Cap a boyfriend. Yeah, I'll tag it right on there. Next episode, we're talking about Hellboy. Hashtag give Cap a boyfriend. That fits. <laughs> it fits. It fits. Hashtag it fits. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, shipping Cap and Bucky. Hashtag it fits. And boy, does oh. it ever. All right, that's all very gay. Let's let's move on. <laughs> this next song. <laughs> we're silly. Oh, this next yeah. song is called A Mother's Prayer. Oh, 
That song's so fucking heavy, I started throwing my kids' presents around the living room. There's no reason to go and do that. <laughs> what? Well, there, well, okay, I should probably explain that. Um, okay. So, he opened his presents, and he opened them at my computer desk, which is in my living room, which is where everyone was when he was opening his presents, right? Mm, okay, got you. Um, and then they just, and then when we were cleaning up, uh, everything just got piled onto my desk. Like, at one point, my wife was like, I hope you don't have any podcasts because you can't get to your computer. I'm like, Game of Thrones is on, bitch. <laughs> um, I ain't doing no podcast. Fucking GOT. Everyone <laughs> shut up. Shut Winter's up, Jesse. Coming. Winter's coming, bitch. Shut up, Jesse. Winter's coming. <laughs> <laughs> there be dragons afoot. Anyway, um, but, you know, over the course of a few days, we've opened a present here. Uh, if you were friends with me on Facebook, we opened up his speed bag that he got, his standing speed bag, and he, uh, look at him. Look at him punch, Jesse. He's that's got a, a, that's, there, there's, some, there's some talent there. He can take some stuff down. I can see. He's got, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got some mean fucking hooks on him. Oh yeah. What he what he doesn't have is fucking balance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just hey just, five year give the five year old a little bit of a you know break there. He's throwing all of his his power into his punches and falling right the fuck over. Um, <laughs> but uh, I loved it. I was so that was a proud father moment. Even when he tripped over himself. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so we've been opening up presents here and there, but there's still a bunch stacked on my desk, and that song was so heavy, I felt the need to throw them around the living room. Clean desk now? Oh, yeah. I clean oh, everything. Clean house. Just might as well change I threw the, the children genre. out of the house. That's how heavy the song is. I picked up my daughter and fucking <laughs> heaved her out like it was the Royal Rumble. It's no longer thrash metal. It's productivity metal. <laughs> Mark, get shit done. Oh, my God. That song is so good. It's decent. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's good. Okay, all right, it's good. Fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll read what Metal Nation says about Mother's Prayer. Okay. MetalNation.com says, Metal, uh, Metal Nation.com says, A Mother's Prayer starts off much more aggressively than, than the title might suggest, which is exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, shit, we're going to get a ballad, aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah. Negative. <laughs> that is not what happens. Uh, it's a powerhouse of a metal song and gravitates to increasing speed and profound musicianship. Instrumentally, it is phenomenally heavy. With gnarly beats and inconceivable, inconceivable bass and guitar combinations, so it's it's okay. <laughs> it's not again. There's not enough on this album that sticks out above the rest to make me go, okay, that one's all right. Uh, it's it's a big mishmash of thrash. There you go. <laughs> Somebody pay me money. That needs to go on a website right now. Mindy put it on a t-shirt. It's a mismatch, <laughs> mishmash thrash. That's right, baby. All right. Mishmash of thrash. thrash. All right. Now we get to the main event. The Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair of this album. Oh, my goodness. This is the Hogan versus Andre. The Rock versus Steve Austin. This is what we all came for. This is Gravedigger at the Monster Truck Rally. This is Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman. By the way, I try. I was let me let me let me learn you on a little bit of what happens here every night at the Rattle and Broadcasting Network uh, studios. Please. Please, all right. So my son doesn't like to sleep alone. Um, don't sleep alone. Don't sleep alone. Evil dick. Sorry. Um, I got. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the song I was going for. Uh, I got a little distracted once again. Um, I was going with uh, I Sleep Alone. Yeah, with nobody else. Sorry. No, remember, Don't Sleep Alone, Don't Sleep Alone. Oh, I know Evil Dick, sir. Oh, uh, yes. Know evil Dick. <laughs> evil Dick. <laughs> evil Dick. <laughs> it's, it's scary it went that far that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 20 years from now. And hailing from Tampa, Florida, Jonas Evil Dick Rattling. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no. His dad, his dad did this to him. <laughs> uh, wouldn't let him listen to Kids Place Live. Made him listen to Overkill. Anyway, um, I've, I've lost the point. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Someone get me some Vyvanse. Every night... Uh, Jonas tries to like wrestle his sister. Okay. Keep her in because I read him. I read him a story. Like my, one of my jobs is the dad of the household, 
is I do the bedtime routine. Yeah. yeah you're My wife does a lot with them. Like, she, she does a lot of the driving. You know, she drives them to school. She drives them home. She drives them. She drives my daughter to all of her after school activities. You know, she cooks dinner. So it's like by the time I get home, it's like once I get home, it's literally like tag. You're in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're in, yeah. fucker. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and my wife makes my wife makes a beeline for whatever room is open and away from the children. Um, but now my <laughs> my my job is to read them a story at night, and that's fine. I enjoy reading to the kids at night. Um, what really helps is we now have like a stack of those five minute stories. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, the Mar- the Marvel. I know we got a bunch of Marvel ones. Yeah. Oh, those are a lifesaver. Um, because I know those. Because I know they're short. Yes. Uh, <laughs> know what you're getting into. You know, it's either that or Doctor Zeus. Um, so <laughs> my son has told me if he has to hear Green Eggs and Ham one more time, he's going to plot. Uh, um. um <laughs> my goodness. So, all right, the point of this story is that uh, he le- he doesn't want his sister to get out, of, to, to leave his bedroom. He wants her to stay, but they can't sleep together. They, they, they allow them to sleep in the same room on the weekends, because who gives a shit? But during the week, they have to sleep in their own rooms. And he, so we've developed into this routine where he tries to, like, wrestle her and keep her down in the bed so that she won't leave. And, like, I referee, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, so Lily has figured out that if she stays on the side of the bed, as soon as the story's over, she puts her feet on the ground, I call the match. Once she, once she, it's like the Royal Rumble. Once your feet hit the floor, you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And, and my son gets pissed because he doesn't have a chance to stop her. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so tonight he got really frustrated. He was like, this is fucking bullshit. Uh, I said, son, watch your mouth. <laughs> no, I was like, what do you mean, son? <laughs> What's fucking bullshit? And he was like, it's fucking ridiculous that <laughs> that she gets her feet on the ground before I even have a chance to do anything, so there's no wrestling match, and now I'm sleeping by myself. Evil dick. All right, all right. And I, <laughs> and I, said, and I said, son, sometimes when you're not fast enough or you're not strong enough to defeat your opponent, you got to rely on the third thing. And he's like, what's that? And I said, strategy. He's like, what's strategy? And I'm like, well, let me give you an example of strategy. And I told him about Rope-A-Dope, about Muhammad okay. Ali and George Foreman. You, do you know the Rope-A-Dope story? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wear him out. Yeah, just, la- just laid on the ropes and left his guard up and let George Foreman punch himself until he was exhausted, and then Muhammad Ali knocked him out. So Perfect. I said, you got to think. I was like, if she's too fast for you and she's getting her feet on the ground before you even have a chance, you need to think up a strategy. You need to, get ahead- you need to be a step ahead of her. And he's like, hmm. He's like, I got a strategy now. I'm gonna work on it. Tomorrow's gonna be a whole different ball game. <laughs> Getting them thinking now. Yeah, that's the whole point of that ridiculous rant. All right, oh. you ready to listen to Welcome to the Garden State? Oh, you bring fuck. that shit on, you fuck! All right, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm ready I, to go to Pizza Land. <laughs> what kills me about this is I know for this particular podcast we have we we have a lot of foreign listeners, people from Europe. Who just like I get about every third joke. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know what they're talking about two thirds of the time. But, Lost in translation. Uh, I understand. So, to all the people of Estonia, we apologize, you fucks. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is welcome to the Garden State. Frankly, you got a problem with authority. All due respect, you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one.
So I was going to introduce you tonight as uh, being having gone nowhere, but knowing it's never like home. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, uh, Jesse Starcher has been nowhere, but he knows there's nothing like home. Um, that is uh, fucking a plus. Like every like I've listened, I've listened to it closer now since we did the Metal Hammer of Doom extra. Like mm-hmm. here's Billy from Philly. Gets great. Get the fuck out of my state. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're oh, a that's, little aggressive, aren't we? That's fucking hilarious, dude. You can't okay. fuck. You can't fuck with a Jersey Devil. Oh my goodness! This song has uh, so many great lines in it. A plus plus. We're yeah. do- we're done. We don't even have to listen to the next three songs. It's <laughs> <laughs> best album of the year. Overkill. The Wings of War. Thanks. Good night. So, New Jersey is a state in the Mid Atlantic and Northeastern regions of the United States. <laughs> It is located on a peninsula. In case you were getting it confused with Eternia. (laughs) So I went in here. I was curious as to how New Jersey is a pretty small state. How small is it? Well, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen. I love your sex tape. (laughs) uh, This is uh, New Jersey is actually the fourth small state in the United States of America. First one being Rhode Island. Hence the overcompensation with aggression here, okay? I think that that might be a problem. It, they have such little little to worry about in that state that if somebody else crosses the border from our neighboring state, such as Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, <laughs> they proceed to tell them to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, Mark Rowley. Are you saying that New Jersey are like the midgets of the United States. I'm I'm just saying <laughs> like they, they have to like overcompensate and be tougher than they really are because they're so small. I have never told anybody to get out of my state, sir. <laughs> I have never done that. But you live in Ohio. No one's in your state. Uh there's plenty in my state, sir. <laughs> plenty. Plenty. Although I'm curious uh as to the population. So just real quick, spoken languages of New Jersey, English, 69.4%, Spanish, 15.9%. Mark Radlich, would you like to know how many New Jerseyans, oh, well, that, that doesn't sound right to me, uh, speak Italian? 0.83%, sir. So a very small population speak Italian. It's strange because 2.7% coming in at third is Indic. Indic, sir. What the fuck is Indic? Indic is your uh, Indo-Aryan. That, that, that's that's what it's saying. Indo-Aryan or Indic languages uh, such as... Oh, boy. Indo-Iranian. They constitute a branch of the Indo-Iranian languages, itself a branch of the Indo-European language family. Uh, they have a rather large... India, Mark. How's that? (laughs) (laughs) Indians. So, uh, but yeah, there you go, Mark. There's some facts on New Jersey. And yes, okay. Now, best song off the album, clearly. One of the funnest songs of the year, most likely. So, I mean, that's got pirate metal prestige. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Does it ever? Does it ever? Look, I mean, if I could be serious for a moment. Try it there, Lance. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> the Saskatchewan Hardcore Intercontinental. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but seriously, folks, we are always in search of songs that really stand out. We digest. I mean, we don't. We only listen to one album a week on here. We review one album a week. We might listen to more than that, but. Um, I don't know what Jesse's doing. He's spanking it with a thumb up his ass. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> but on this podcast, we only review closely one album per week. And a lot of the stuff just blends together. A lot of it, you know, is forgettable. Like, we listen to an album, like, well, oh, that was an album. It was a fun listen. Well, you know, and then by the time both of us have gone to bed, we wake up in the morning and forgot what we did. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, we, are for, we are forever in search of a song that sticks out, that is memorable. And so when, when I, I, and then I know for me, when something like Welcome to the Garden State turns up, it's like, yeah, finally, something that I will not forget for, you know, ne- for another month, two months, three months. Like, I'll still remember this later this year. Oh, yeah. You know? And I think, again, that's why I'm, I'm putting so much emphasis on this album. Angry Metal Guy and, you know, Metal, metal Jack and... Fuck, fuck you, I'm the metal dude. Um, whoever these people are. Fuck you, I'm the metal dude. <laughs> Dot com. They can say what they want to say, but I will tell you, very little has stuck out to me like Welcome to the Garden State has. Okay. All right. You were just at the Garden State. I mean, did I you... Was. I did dis- you... What I was your favorite with the pre- thing? I disagree with the premise of the song. New Jersey... <laughs> Famous for so MetLife Stadium is in New Jersey, right? Correct. Okay, all right. How about how about that uh, public transportation? I mean, we welcome had no... to the Garden State. <laughs> <laughs> we had no problem getting out. We took our we, we took our hotel shuttle, and then John jumped an Uber and ran away from me. <laughs> fuck you! I'm out. Pretty much. Get the fuck out of this. I'm getting the fuck out of this state. <laughs> I'm Billy from Philly, and I'm getting the fuck out. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. This next one is not where Eagles Dare, but however, it is called Where Few Dare to Walk. Mm. 
All right. So, uh, if you hadn't guessed, we went from where few dare to walk to... It's such a sound alike of the thing that should not be. I expected a WCW wrestler to walk out. <laughs> I was so afraid I was going to mess that joke up. <laughs> oh, I would have. But that was brilliant. <laughs> thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Come, come see me at the Laugh Factory. See my tight four minutes. Uh, your wife will not be there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's had enough of your shit, sir. Yep, that's the name. Of, that's actually the name of my uh, my Netflix special. My wife's had enough of my shit. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm. I think it was either here. What do we got? Three songs left. So this two. is this is the two two. Um, after this one, right? Yes. Okay. I, it was either here or the next one. Where I was just like, okay, <clears throat> not. Uh, we're winding down here. I've my heart has beat as fast as it could right there at the beginning and it's just this one I guess is kind of laid back when you look at I, it but you cut this one. I this is honestly like I was thinking about this earlier like I want to give this whole album like an A+, plus, but I can't. I have to give it an A because where few dare to walk is so much a rip off of the thing that should not be. I can't it takes it away from the album. It took you very little time to figure that shit out, too. No, I, I yeah, I, I was like, when we were on the cruise. We were, we went, we did this like eighty eighties trivia thing, and like my brain has to process things a little bit slower. Like I can't like some people like they can hear Dink and they know exactly what what the fucking song is. Like I can like, name that song in one note. Yeah, like like how do you have that be, that that good recall? Like I know the stuff, but it takes like my brain like compared to most people in terms of memory recall. Most people are operating with Windows XP. I'm on a Commodore 64. Um, <laughs> it takes me a little while. I'm going to get there, but yeah. it, you know, it takes me a little while. Uh, which side story? My wife. Like, every time, like I guessed an answer, I got, I got very excited and would, and would like punch the uh, the column that we were standing next to. My wife was like, "Please stop hitting things." <laughs> and I wonder where my fucking son gets it from. Ah, uh, no surprises there. None. Uh, so, but yeah, but in that, but that one was so obvious. I was like, I know this. That's the thing that should not be. Oh, boo! Yeah. Overkill. You should know better. Like you, you like your contemporaries of fucking Metallica. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody in the in the in the process of rec- of producing that song should have been like, nope. We are that 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 is the exact chord progression of the thing that should not be. We need to change this up because some fat guy in Tampa is going to call us out on it. <laughs> We're all worried about the fat guys in Tampa. <laughs> Beware the fat people in Tampa. <laughs> who listen They'll to call metal. you on your shit. Just be ready, okay? Don't don't try and get it past them. <laughs> the guys in Overkill. It's just like, 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 what do you think of the album? I don't know. I don't know if it's totally fat guy proof. <laughs> uh, we'll try and put it out there just to see. They won't catch us. Maybe he'll be too busy eating the fat fuck. <laughs> uh, if we just if we just put all this great shit around it, he won't even notice. All right, uh, maybe he'll be in Jersey right when he after, listens to it. Right after, yeah, right after. Welcome to the Garden State. It sounds yep. perfect. They'll never notice. Yeah, you can't hide shit from me, Overkill. <laughs> all right, man. Well, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say. You kind of, I didn't put those two together until you just said it. Uh, so. Uh, I'm a fat guy from Ohio, though, so they <laughs> <laughs> they knew they could get it past me. <laughs> All right, uh, we got two songs left. I'll tell you what, though, I this I can tell you right now, this is going to get a, get a solid A from me because this is the, the first album that we've heard in a while that I don't want to medley. Okay, so Very good. Let's go ahead and get through these last two songs. However, uh, this next one is called "Out on the Road Kill."
All right, all right, all right. That one's another fun one. Actually, it goes on a little bit longer, and as it gets to the four-minute mark, it really, really gets going. Um, unfortunately, I can't play all four minutes and 42 seconds of that song. Yeah, this one's okay. <clears throat> uh, again, it's man, it's overkill doing overkill. I mean, they're they're kicking ass, the, and they're laying it all out there. Um, I don't know. No, it's the next one. <laughs> the next one kind of – kind of falls in line with this one where they have this they have this tendency to sing songs about them being on the road. Now I don't know if that was I don't know if that was a direct a, a direct correlation to them touring in any way. Just looking at the lyrics, I don't think it was. But that's what it put me in mind of. Um either way, uh I mean, yeah, you're right. It, it we're still we're still going balls to the wall on this album. No let up. No. And just like you said, there's not much to mel- medley here. I said about said melody uh, medley here. And also I don't feel a whole lot of sameziness. Okay. No, it, no like, I, like I, I feel like it didn't tickle your particular bag, mm-hmm. but you know, like you should give it credit for being one of the one of the better albums of the year that we've heard so far. It, yeah. When like when you look at like if you think about the kind of the criteria that we in particular use on the Metal Hammer of Doom, you know, we look at sameziness. We look at you know should, do, should we medley it because like we're getting bored of the album exactly. You know things yep. like that. You know, does it have balls? Is it fast? Like it's clicking all the boxes for the good stuff. Yeah, it is. It really is. It. I just while the song was playing, I was adjusting and, and where yet, I was putting it at. And yet, you sound like Charlie Brown. Mm, I don't know, mm, Peppermint Patty. It's just not. You said it already. It's just not my my <coughs> the sack that I have has not been tickled. Okay, my what sack we, remains wh- untickled. <laughs> what, what do we have to do to excite your sack, Jesse? Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah. Not, this out al- this album and this band's just not going to do it. So, okay. I'm not. I'm definitely not going to put it bottom of the barrel. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to have when, when we, we get to the, a, when we get to a Legion later this year. I'm going to read Doctor Zeus the entire time. I will. I will. Fu- <laughs> I, give me a fucking ticket right now. I'm, gonna, I'm <laughs> fucking fly down there and Welcome smack to... you in the fucking face, dude. That that <laughs> album has been getting a ton of great reviews. Uh, nine out of tens, four out of fives, five out of fives. Yeah, okay. So I'm I'm nervous. Fuck off. And <laughs> I, I am kind of nervous because their last album they put out was absolutely phenomenal. So I, I don't know if it'll be able to hold up to that. And I I don't trust reviews as far as I can throw them just because, you know, people who get albums early so they can listen to them probably feel – indebted to the band to give them a favorable review. Yeah, that waiting. releases this Friday, so I'll be able to make my decision. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Tampa Bay, where I'm going to get Mark in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I'll have, yeah, I'll have a Legion come down there and film me for their next video. Terrific. All right, this next one is our last one. Uh, it's, it's all about me, as you might suspect. It's called Hole in My Soul.
All right. Um, in summation, first of all, that song kicks ass. It's rocking. Um, you know, I'm not going to belabor the point. We've uh, we've been going strong here for over an hour, and now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M I C K E Y M L U S E. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, Overkill, The Wings of War is my favorite album of the year so far. It gets an A. I can't give it an A plus because of what we talked about with Where Few Dare to Walk. They had cut that A plus plus. Oh wow! All right. Well, uh, I think this is easily an improvement over Grinding Wheel, their last album. Someone let my cat out of the rain. <laughs> It's funny. So that there's that song off that album, and then we got Welcome to the Garden State off this album that will forever remain <laughs> in the annals and the annals of the Metal Hammer it's of definitely Doom. in the annals. <laughs> uh, so for Overkill fans, uh, I think you'll be pleased that this album starts and doesn't stop. For myself, though, uh, there's just not enough on this album that makes me really go, okay, I need to put that on the playlist. Maybe Welcome to the Garden State, but that's just for shits and giggles and having a good time uh where it's placing at so mark's got it at an a i'm putting it at number four overall uh, you're wrong it's under soil work it's under beast in black and it's under children of bodom which i revisited at least two or three times since we've done that album so i'm i'm very impressed with children of bodom this year uh, but there you go. At number four, Mark, you got it at an A, which is right along. You gave Soil Work an A. You gave Beast in Black an A. You've never, you haven't given anybody an A plus yet. So, uh, boy, when 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 do you think that's going to happen? Is there an A plus waiting in the wings this year? Mm, let's see. I don't know. Here's fucking what we... Rum Ahoy's got to be at least. They A+. haven't announced a drop date yet. So, oh, fuck... they haven't. I figured it'd be this year. Oh, hang on. Let's look. I haven't seen it on the, the Wikipedia page that I follow. We'll find that it's out now. I'm going to shit my pants. No, it ain't out now. Uh, I don't know that shit. Rum Ahoy. Uh, that's Ailstorm. Um, okay, well, apparently there's no Wikipedia page for it. Let's try this again. Google. You were looking... Let's see. Hi, Google. Run. Get the fuck out of my state! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say that to people to piss me off. Uh, we do uh, live on the border of West Virginia, so there have been times where I've bitched about West Virginia drivers. I may uh, have said get the fuck out of my state, so I, I may have lied earlier. All right, let's look at their Facebook page. Do that. Did you see, by the way, a legion... A legion tried to convince you to go to that sh- place in Brooklyn and pick up the album. You saw that, right? They commented. They said, come on, Mark, be a dude. And you did not. Instead, you sat there and did your WrestleMania. Yeah. You shithead. Mm. Sat uncomfortably is what I did. <laughs> Froze my butt and my balls. Huh. All right. I'm on the Rumahoy Facebook page, which I'm How sorry. in the hell does Bandcamp have <laughs> Heritage Tales, the very best of Rumahoy? How? The demo came out in 2012, then they had the very best of Rumahoy come out in 2013, and then the full length, first full length album they had in 2018. I don't get it. Mm. Uh, they got a. Did they got a. Uh, it would be like one of the first things they would have posted. Mm-hmm. I want to say that the answer is no. Mm-hmm. I mean, the album is called Time to Party. I mean, but we just don't have a a date. All right, let's try this again. Rum, ahoy. What's it called, Time to Party? Time to, and two is with, like, the sequel to I, I, Captain. Oh, shit. Talk about your fucking deep cut on the title here for piracy um, reference. Second album on the way. Welcome to the sea, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm going to the Romahoy website now. Okay. Well, most likely the answer is they haven't dropped the date yet. New album, Time to Party out in spring of 2019. Uh, well, we're there. 
<laughs> and I think we would be seeing a definite date by now. Um, Gosh, they were on tour with Aelstorm. I think they still are. Or they're on, planning on it. Let's see. Let's let's type. Let's see what happens if you type "Rum Ahoy" into Spotify. We we're supposed to be focusing on fucking overkill. I, <laughs> How did this happen? I'm not ADD Mark Radlich here. I, you I, did I, this I gave to my me. Review. I gave my review. I yeah. asked a simple question: like, do you think there is a possibility of an A plus album this year? Um, I think. And, Clutch are working on some stuff. Body count. Probably. Body count's going to be A+. Plus. A++. Nine, plus. <laughs> in 2019? Yeah. They've already got a date? No. I'll see. I don't know, man. All right. No new out. Nothing on Spotify for Rum Mahoy just yet. Okay. Well, well, we'll wait and see. Hopefully, at some point, they will drop us a date. We, we love our boys. Uh, they welcome us to the sea quite often. All right, so here's what's coming up. Um, next week is Twar Hell. Uh, that probably won't be an A plus, but you know, definitely. It's our Vi- It's, it's going to be a Viking experience. It's going to be a Viking experience. Get, hashtag <laughs> give Elsa a girlfriend. Um, Battle Beast will definitely be an A. Might be an A plus. White Snake A plus plus. There you go. Oh, there we go. Should have known better. Should have to just got to wait three weeks. Bunch of fucking bias already. <laughs> Here I go again. I'm not. I'm own. not a big White Snake fan. I'm just. Well, get off my fucking podcast. Um, <laughs> get the fuck out of my state. <laughs> um, uh, Illuviti, no. Sworn Enemy. Hmm. Got a few watches on the Metal Hammer of Doom Extra already for that, surprisingly. No. A Legion, fuck that band. Um, okay. Gosh. <laughs> I, wanna, oh. I, will, I will hire somebody to punch you who lives in Florida. <laughs> Just get my son to do it. He loves punching me. <laughs> Um, Oakley Doakley, Hadley Toodley. Um, that's probably if not going to get if, an A. Well, if they vastly improve their production, they have a shot at getting a pretty have favorable you heard mark. The, I've listened to it. That's it. It is improved. It's good. Romstein, okay. that might get an A. That might get an A plus. Have you heard that new single from them? Um, maybe. It, I mean, it straight up starts out with Duhast, and you're like, oh <laughs> shit, wait a second. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's good though. It's really good. <sighs> A bot, a barth, maybe. Um, Ooh, I'm, now I'm all excited. There's a lot of good albums. Yeah, L Seven, Scatter the Rats. That's that's yeah. not going to get an A. Um, I mean, I love L Seven, but come on, um, Glory Hammer. I, I, we've we've talked about these guys before in the past. Are, this is the like, L Storm side project. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, well, Calandris wasn't too impressed. I didn't have a chance to listen, so. Neither have I. Uh, Texas Hippie Coalition. Yeah, have you have you ever heard them? Uh, for some reason, I, is this tied to Pantera somehow? That mm. answer's probably no. no. <laughs> um, I swear no. these guys are put together with some other band members, though, like from other Maybe. other bands. But the Texas Hippie Coalition. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll, that the see that that's one where it's like fifty fifty going to be amazing or or fifty percent going to suck balls. Uh, They're gonna be a total disappointment. Um, Sabaton. Oh, oh, that'll probably be oh, an a. Oh, oh man! So that takes us through the end of July. So we'll see. I've been keeping an eye on the calendar. Not a whole lot coming out over the summer so far. Uh, maybe we'll get a few good drops, but for right now, you know, I, we're up to July twenty fourth, uh, and most of these albums will have come out between like May and June. Would you like to hear? Here's here's the names of the current members of Texi, Texi, Texas Hippie Coalition. Okay, we have lead vocalist Big Dad Rich. Yeah. Uh, our guitar, one of our guitarists is named Cord Pool, C O R D P O O L. Yes. <laughs> then we have Nevada Romo and Laredo Romo, uh, guitar and bass there, and then Devin Carruthers on drums. That's mm. probably the most. Uh, uh, you know, realistic name out of that whole All right. quad you're, quintuple, you're, whatever. You're fucking preventing me from watching the new episode of The Flash. So I'm week. tired. <laughs> Tomorrow night on the Metal Hammer of Doom, we're dusting off an oldie but a goodie. Long Road to Ruin, and we're going to look at Hellboy 2004 and 2008. Next week, it's Toss Salad and Scrambled Eggs All Over My Plate. What is a boy to do? We've got Green Lantern, Planet of the Apes, 
Uh, I will be at White Snake on April twenty third. So um, while the cats away, the mice will play. A TV party tonight on Frasier. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, no, Sorry, my no, bad. No, <laughs> you, can't, you can't even actually directly tie that into the title of <laughs> Toss Salad and Scrambled Eggs. Damn it. Um, Robert Winfrey, Alexis Haina, and the mascot of the Rattled and Broadcasting, a little boy who carries his books and a kerchief on a stick. Uh, he's good to his mother, Jason Teasley. We'll be on to talk about the suck shit movie Pet Cemetery. Oh boy! And then you and I will be back for the Middle Hammer of Doom. We're going to be talking about Tuar Hell. And then Thursday, I'm not doing any work. I'm not turning on my phone. I'm not paying attention to my family. I'm going to see Avengers Endgame. Mm. How about that shit? Good, good gravy. Have a fun time. Oh, speaking of which, on the way to Endgame. We've got a couple of podcasts, one this Friday the 19th, and then next Friday the 26th uh, will be uh, Phase 2 and Phase 3 of our uh, Countdown to Endgame, our review of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Phase 1 is already up, uh, if you want to listen to it uh, and listen to me and Alexis Hanna explain to Robert Winfrey why the Incredible Hulk doesn't suck, and he does. So... When you go to these theaters and watch these movies, are you going to the ones with, like, reclining seats and everything? You're asking me why I fall asleep at the theater all the time, you fuck? No. No, uh. I'm asking you, if it, does it feel weird laying beside somebody, like a total stranger, and watching a fucking movie? Oh, well, I mean, I mean, up to the point we start jerking each other off, no. <laughs> um, after that, it's fine. What is your hand doing on my pants, sir? <laughs> I'm going to give you 15 minutes to get your hand off my, off my penis. <laughs> You got 15 minutes, though. Make it a good 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to give uh, you... That is one of the best lines from Oz, by the way. I'm going to give uh, you five minutes to get your hand off my cock. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, all right. Anything else there, Mark? Or are you ready to get the hell out of here? Nope. You do all your right. plugs and let's get the fuck out of here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get the <laughs> fuck out of this state here in just a second. But before that, go give the rattle it. We're going to give you five minutes to get your hand off our cock. <laughs> Please. You got five. Make it good. Go give the Rattlich in Broadcasting Network Facebook page a like to stay up on top of all the great podcasts that we have to offer. Should be able to find us pretty easily on any podcast platform. Just go to the search and type in R A D U L I C H. Should be able to find the network, subscribe, or just listen to any odd show that you want. We talk comics, we talk TV, we talk wrestling every once in a while, we talk music, and absolutely we talk movies. So uh, I think that's about it. I'm ready to go to bed. Mark Radlich is ready to get the fuck out of this state. Take us out of here, Mark. I am Billy from Philly. That's great. Get the fuck out of my state. <laughs> All right, for Jesse Starcher, who is just a plum good man for putting up with my nonsense. Nonsense. This has been the Metal Hammer of Doom. We hope to we hope we've offended you tonight and we will continue to offend you in the future. <laughs>